Hello, this is Ayman Zaza, and I'm consultant and member of Middle East and Africa ALM community. This video is part of Visual Studio 2012 application lifecycle management hands-on lab provided by Microsoft. In this lab, I will talk about using the Architecture Explorer in Visual Studio Ultimate 2012 to analyze your code. In Visual Studio Ultimate 2012, the Architecture Explorer provides an easy way to drill down into your code and analyze the relationship between the projects, types, their assemblies, and references. In this lab, you will see how you can use Architecture Explorer and analyzing the process structure using Architecture Explorer and DGML and create dynamic DGMLs, analyzing external assemblies using Architecture Explorer. In order to complete this lab, you will need the Visual Studio 2012 virtual machine provided by Microsoft. You can download it from this link. The first exercise is Introduction to Architecture Explorer. In this exercise, you will learn how to use the Architecture Explorer tool to navigate the project source structure and to generate the GML diagrams that help eliminate subset of the chosen st structure. Let's start by opening Visual Studio 2012 Ultimate version. Connect to Team Foundation Server. Choose Telespin Toys Collection and press Connect. Select Source Control Explorer. Expand Telespin Toys Development Iteration 2 and double click in Telespin Toys SLN. Open the Solution Explorer and make sure the solution is building successfully. Right click, rebuild the solution. Close the Source Control Explorer. Let's open Architecture Explorer from View Architecture Explorer. Architecture Explorer allows you to navigate the types and methods from code starting from either a class or solution view. We will select class view in this exercise. Now when you select a class view, it will give you option to view all name spaces that are part of Telespin Toy solution. From this point, clicking on item from this right pane will allow you to drill down further into types and members okay I select telespin admin this is all types <coughs> select the product relationship to load <coughs> this will load all impound now we need only the members of a product relationship Select members and select the product. You can navigate in the screen by scrolling left and right. Two methods in the product get product and set the product. This is to illustrate that our architecture explorer is operating on compiled code using reflection. As you will see later on this lab, you can explore compile.net code directly from compiled assemblies. Select get the product. This is return type. <coughs> 
select get the product and select return types select the product and select members of the product you can choose members or whatever navigation you want okay from this list we can select all outbound select all inbound although this may redundant from navigation perspective select the product from inbound references as we did here and <coughs> select all all inbound and click on this pan and <coughs> from this icon create a new graph pattern from the left side of the architecture explorer this will create a new dgml file so showing the entire navigation path that you manually took up until this point You can also append if you have existing DGML. You can also append. <laughs> Since this is DGML diagram, we can use all standard tools to view and add, remove nodes. <coughs> we can all we can delete this one. Select the spin toys and the press delete button. back we can also add a new file to set a product we can also drag drop now you have dgml contained <coughs> The architecture explorer a flow you have been chosen um, you can you can clear the architecture explorer selected types and member and methods by pressing a clear columns this is the end of the exercise one the next exercise is analyzing a project structure using architecture explorer and dgml in this exercise, you will learn more about feature of Architecture Explorer from solution view. This includes more exposed to node navigation filtering support and sample scenario that demonstrate the combined power of Architecture Explorer and DGML diagrams to aid in architecture analysis. Let's back to Visual Studio, a view, Architecture Explorer, select solution view this is all projects that we have from Telespin web wanna select all the project files and add dot cs in the filter pane and press enter Press Ctrl A and from the left pane create a new DGML graph. As you see, this DGML diagram showing source files from Telespin with a project. Mm -hmm. Close the DGML and back to Architecture Explorer. Select here instead of a project item, select classes, select all, and from the left pane, create a new graph. See, this is whole classes exist in this pin web project. Close the DGML without saving 
and back to architecture explorer select solution view again and telespan web or you can press clear columns to start from scratch select references the navigation under outbound select all and the from filter only choose a project not assembly mm -hmm. or other file types we have only three select all and create a new DGML file delete the spin toys to get better visibility now as we see here in this DGML showing outbounding reference from telespain web now we can explore the differential relationship between telespain web project and telespain simple SQL repository okay and architecture pack to architecture explorer don't delete this one keep it we will use it now now we can create better review how product related class for this project fit into this picture return access review and select from solution telespan web control a from filter select only the project select here only classes and press a pro product and press enter drag and drop an existing DGML file as you see here this is the updated DGML diagram showing how product related classes relating to existing product select a quick cluster from, from toolbar and zoom to fit to get a better visibility on your screen note that it's now easy to see that telespain simple sql repository project and its product related classes are responsible for data access now we can see how telespain administrator application fits into overall architecture that we have locked so far clear the selected columns from architecture explorer select solution view and telespin admin.app and make sure you select references note that there are no references to any of telespin projects it's all only dlls there are there are references to system to DLL and system to data to link so perhaps the admin application is going directly to database now we will investigate the admin application further to see if there is truly cause for concern select the vertical bar select the vertical bar here and select the classes instead of references and type a product select all and create a new graph this graph is showing telespin admin application and the product classes delete the telespin toys now there are no outbound calls to telespin sql repository data access code right click somewhere in the dgml and select save as XPS save it in the disk desktop home DGML admin product and save now go to the team explorer and the framework items create a new work item task
title is review why admin Assign to Brain Killer Stank Rank 1 and add the details. Go to Attachments, Add, Browse the saved file. and press OK save work item close all open window and this is the end of the exercise the last exercise is analyzing external assemblies using Agarisha Explorer let's back to Visual Studio view architecture explorer here select choose select files in the file name add C Windows Microsoft.net framework version 4 note if if this version directory is not available select the most recent available add system.data System to data DLL and press open. Select system to data. Select filter and check public. Is public. Press OK button and enter SQL in the search pane and press enter. This is the list of public classes system to DLL for SQL and select all and from left pane create a new graph. Press a quick cluster. As you see in this DGML diagram it's showing system DLL and all its classes. This is the end of the exercise. This is the end of our lab using Architecture Explorer and Visual Studio Ultimate 2012 to analyze your code. Thank you.